it forward. They're winning the little one-on-ones at the moment, the Dockers. Hayes back to Filicamo. Diving smother, not effective. Diving is Davidson for the Dockers. She's clean. Dogs looking dangerous inside forward 50. Can they be clean? McLeod, she's a live wire. And she'll scoot into an open goal. And the opening goal is a dog's goal. She goes to Scott. Scott's handball, speculative. Carney has to go back and try and win it one-on-one -on -one with Caulfield. Hooker gathers, gives to Haynes, looks for a target at the top of the square. Ernst comes back and crunches. Spills to the front for Tanellan. Slips one tackle, gets past a second. Quick hands, Caulfield snaps and goals. Well worked team goal from the Dockers. Well done, Ellie Blackburn with the intercept mark. Starting to work her way into the contest. Two touches so far. Trying to hit up on the lead there. Not effective. Carney, who's been everywhere for the dogs. I'll keep it alive, Brennan. She was steady. Handed off. Looking for a second space and finding it is Lambert. And she finds the major opening. The college basketball until the middle of last year at the College of Coastal Georgia came back to footy. Kick inside 50, clears the contest. Here's the dangerous hout at the back. Beautiful tackle from Ernst. Went with her step for step. Great defensive work from the ruck. Forward from Lachlan. Direction. With a little handball forward from Lambert that buys her some time. Clever player. Bought more time by McLeod. Steps. Needs to get built to ball and run down. Great defence from the Dockers. Duly rewarded. This is going to be Astro O'Connor with the kicking in duties for the Dogs. It's a shallow kick. Red best in flight, and the Dockers trying to set a shot on goal and perhaps a lead, and it's Barr who just slides in comfortably. A neat kick from Lavelle. He plays on. She's got an outside runner. Gives it off to Birch. Lines up from 40 metres out. It's not going to get there. Once again, the Dockers with some discipline. But it's going to come back. This is Carney. 55 from home. The kick from Antonio couldn't clear the zone. Carney goes in board. And finally... Katie Brennan doesn't have Antonio in her pocket. The captain of this side wearing Ted Witten's famous number three. Chance to kick her first goal as an AFLW player. And she does. Ball in dispute. Within range of goal. Squirts out the back of the contest to Lambert. Looks so dangerous in the first half. Soccer towards the 50. He's Ernst with some time to look up and deliver. Beautiful ball to Astor O'Connor. A big moment for Astor O'Connor. And she seizes the moment. Dogs get the opening goal of the third term. How does Michelle Cowan get these guys into the game? That's going to be the question. I think I think you see Cara Donnellan take the footy in her hands as skipper. She's she's going to want to control the footy now. Now get to the back, but the Bulldogs have set up defensively here. It'll be Gogus. Looking to try and switch. It'll be Golisano. It'll just hang slightly in the breeze. A little bit too much on it for Steph Kane. She's got Wilds for company, and Wilds got the favourable bounce as well. Works her way through traffic. Gets the kick forward, and it'll land nicely. Neves. Might almost take this uncontested in the end. Brennan works her way through. Got boot to ball. Blackburn just needs it to sit. And she can create. As we start the final term, it's the Dogs in control by 25 points. Beautiful tap from O'Connor. Got it to Lachlan and she finds Lambert at centre-half forward. It's been all Dogs since half-time. And Lambert honours the lead from Katie Brennan, who says settle down. She'll kick from 45. Lauren, you know her as well as anyone. She's going to give it off. And she finds Blackburn. Loves the contested ball. Lots of speed. Neither Ruckman got a hand on that one. Danellan taken high by Gardner. So can the Dockers get something going through their captain, who's worked overtime tonight? Her 13th possession. She's been on the bottom of seemingly every pack. She's run herself into all sorts of trouble here, and she's gone. Is working out what to do in that contest. Antonio will bring it in. She won that early contest on Brennan, but Katie Brennan certainly had an influence in the final three quarters. Gardner, Lachlan, Carney, can she complete her night? Goes to Gardner, who cops a high one. Had an excellent final series for the Sharks last year in the VFL women's competition, and that's an excellent kick. And Katie Brennan.
We're going to join the winners list in the opening weekend of the NAB AFL women's competition. She's got it. She's got enough on it. She's got two. It's well deserved. And the Dogs have got four points. It's been a pretty complete performance. And the leadership she's shown to work through that early attention from Ebony Antonio is really good out there.